Hello, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn's uh, seventh astral era. For Space Monkeys viewers, they've already heard this part. Hi. I, yep. I just had a power surge, so I'd lost the few minutes of footage we already had. And it was an awesome intro, and you know, we dodged all this stuff. Hi, dude! I also voiced this guy, you know. We meet again, my friend. I have no Muntai tonic to offer this time, I'm oh afraid. God. As I believe you know, Imperial forces are in the South Shroud on Why? a mission to destroy the Tony device. Why? <laughs> but Why did everything just shake? Did you see that? Nope. Everything. Ah, I did it again. That's a ninja thing, just get on with it. <laughs> it's a ninja thing! <laughs> <laughs> to destroy the jamming device, we must see to it that they do not succeed. Hmm. <sighs> must you moan? He said the Crystal Braves <laughs> will cut off their retreat very well. My countrymen and I shall attend to the soldiers. Their infernal machines we leave at your capable hands. At present, the Garleans are in the vicinity of Amdorpor Keep. Let us head there at once. Sigh. Seriously, like four or five times, it just went pulse. Pulse. Like there was a fucking echo starting up. <laughs> echo. Other way. Where are you going? Oh, there's a gate there? Okay. <sighs> Sorry. Some really bright red hair. No, we don't want to go there. Uh, fuck it. Fuck it. I'm getting off. Why? This way. <laughs> Just fuck it. No. There's a hole in the wall there. Oh. <sighs> oh, okay. I'll not AoE them, I guess, then. Apparently, neither will I. No. Uh, lag? There we go. I'll just get this one then. And that one, apparently. I got worried for a moment because I saw that zero and I thought it was your health for a second. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, these things are like... These things are like little little hover drones. Aye. That's disgusting! With the claws or hover, hover drones is disgusting you? Oh, bye. I saw you jump on! <sighs> nope, nope, it's fine. It's fine. fine. I'll fine. just I'll raid take, my own I'll bird. I'll take the big bird! Talon loves me! No, he doesn't. He abandons you at every opportunity. No, only every 30 minutes. It's part of his union break. I want one of those! What, unionizing? No, uh, you really wolf. don't want someone that unionizes. That wolf mount. Wow! Hey, there's survivors! <laughs> That's more than we would leave. Mm. That was a most impressive showing, my friend. As you can see, we too have not been that... <laughs> I can't do that. As <laughs> you can <laughs> see, we have do not been idle. The IV has received no warning of our coming. <laughs> if you want to go with that. <laughs> sure, why not? A dome and plum. Now that the jamming device is no longer at risk, we may return safely to your hunt. Pray rejoin Lady Yugari. She wishes for you at, waits for you at Hawthorne Hut. I was hit. Ouch. You! Son! Of! Oh, a! Bitch! I shall remain here and have a few words with this sorry lot. Nothing serious, I assure you. Just a spot of small talk. You know what that means. He's gonna torture them and then shove something up the rectum? Murder! Yes. Just I mean, a small talk, you know. Go here. Oh, move. Uh, back to the Hawthorne Hut. Oh, Hawthorne Hut. Uh, East Roads, there. Tele oh, okay. Ah. 
Ah, well, whatever. Yeah, it's easy. Is it and? Oh, bloody Talon. There we go. I've examined you twice now already. Why are you examining me so much? Because I'm trying to ride in your pillion. Diggity. I want to ride your pillion. I am given to understanding that the mission was a success. Nod. No, not nod. <laughs> not a single Imperial soldier made it to our position. The real work is always, Sion. Oh, I thought that was you, because she nodded! By way of reward, we can now turn our attention to Royal at once more. What news, Lady Yugari? My people reported the way, uh, that she has departed for the Bramble Patch. So she means to go ahead with the meeting. Excellent. It's time to close the net around her. My well, countrymen and I shall lead the way in the shadows. Tread wearily, uh, my friends. Uh, my friends? <laughs> like, are your friends or not? <laughs> Smoke bomb! <laughs> oh, I can't smoke bomb. I would, I would be killed a smoke bomb that disappears. <laughs> yeah. Poof! Then gone. Uh, Timer. Did you go that way? Yes, yeah. That way. <laughs> it was like. Cyber? I thought you were waiting for me to mount again, so I was like. Yeah, Cyber! Oh god, it's all the way over there. The map deceived me! There we go. Oh, cutscene. Oh, a cutscene! Oh dear! That's another one of these ones, okay. Just beyond, Rochelle is in her conversation with the individual clad in the manner of armor. Of an adventurer. An imperial intermediary, no doubt. Shock, look! This is it! With me! Nod. Indeed. Nod. Indeed! Run! As you Running! Wish. Action! Drama! Thorns! Thongs? Thorns! Hi, who might you be? Watch, it's all an elaborate birthday pla party planning situation. Flame Marshal Elaine Rail, you're under arrest for treason and espionage. Who are you? You were followed, you bloody fool! You'll never catch me alive! Grimace, run. Thank you, you Lady Yugari! Damnation! Finally, somebody interrupt somebody running away! Mm -hmm. Ninja! Ninja! Ninja, appear! Why was that one ninja not wearing a mask? <laughs> I don't know, I was about to ask the same, like... Random ninja nowhere in that mask. Where all the other ones are. To hide their identity. <laughs> yeah. You are unarmed, my lady, and scarcely garbed for battle. But if you wish to fight, you are welcome to try. She could be a monk, or a thamater. She is fairly barrel-chested. What is the meaning of this, Captain? Would you arrest me for strolling in the Twelveswood? When last I walked, that was no crime. And neither was conversing with passing strangers. Hmm. You would feign ignorance then. Very well. If you do think of something to say, there will be plenty of time to say it later. Now, come quietly, or I shall make you wish you had. I can't trust her. She's got a mole. <laughs> wow. But it's just a beauty mark. I will offer you no struggle. After all, I have not to hide. Stab! Aww. What? You want them to kill, get killed or something? Well, I want her to stab him so there'd be obvious guilt involved. 
Well, she's been doing this for decades, probably, at this point. It's subterfuge. Because mm. if I remember right, it's something like 20 years since the thingy of Cartonal. Even a warrior of Rual's renown could not have hoped to escape that force. Despite her claims, surrender does not bespoke innocence. But an awareness of our position is attainable. Untenable. Unattainable. Untenable. Untenable. With the ivy thus uprooted, it is uh, to be hoped that the tendrils will intertwine around the immortal flames will gra uh, gradually wither and die. Mayhap when my people and Ulda have a grand company they deserve. May ah, mayhap the people of Ulda will have a grand company that they deserve. But let us speak of the present, if I may ask you. What will you do now, Scythe and Shaharazad? I want to go to Disneyland! I'm just oh my god, I'm your I'm Basically, yeah. <laughs> I'm a very cuddly person. Who cares about people's space? So the Scions uh, seek a way to Ice Heart Sanctum. Then I dare say that you are eager to return to the Rising Stones. Pray, do not let me keep you. Fear not, my countrymen and I shall tend to the aftermath. You will need not wish waste their talents here. Your talents here, even. I just don't stick your hand in my face, please. And speaking of talents, you have considerable training in the art of the shinobi? <laughs> have you considered training in the art of the shinobi? Even? Yeah, I've, I've already been trained. You have an aptitude, I believe. So, uh, please give it us some thought until next time, my friends. I really, really want to know what this quest looks like as a ninja. Ninja! Like, I have the shinobi class. Ninja. Shinobi! I know, I don't look very stealthy. That's what no, I got. you really don't. You're like a Naruto ninja. What I got. Okay, that's what, that's what I got. You're budget Naruto ninja. Hmm? It's what I got. It's just what I got on me. Ooh. Hey, cop. Oh, we're coming to a trial soon, actually, believe it or not. Oh? A trial, you say? A is trial, I say. See, this is why I want the Moogle space. It's a two-person mount. Oh? Oh my god, she is so cute! Oh? Hey, look at that, look at her! She's got one of those little hats that I found super cute. She's all punky. I want one. What? Where? Where is this? The little, the little lala fell on the Moogle Mount. I, d uh, hmm. I guess. Looks like a baker. I know. It's so cute and sexy. Mostly cute though, because it is a lala fell. I thought you weren't into leather. I don't know why. What? Or that's what you said. You said what? you weren't into leather. But when have I ever said that I'm not into wearing it? Mm. I don't think I've ever said I'm not into leather. I was joking something about a gimp dungeon. You were like, no, I don't, I'm not into leather. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm well. not into wearing it. Yeah. Like, that's too much leather. You can't just be all leather. You have to have portions of the outfit not leather in order well, for Well, some of them are latex. Because they're cheapo as well. Well, latex is a completely different fetish space. Welcome back, sisters. I do understand that Alphanat has a task for you. May I ask what it was? Also, I have no idea either way, so, you know. Mm -hmm. Charges of treason and espionage against Elin Rochial? I, I can scarce believe it. Could there not have been any other manner of misunderstanding? No, it avails us not to dwell, to dwell on it. Whether the truth, whatever the truth may be, we must trust that the authorities will uncover it. Pray, let us speak of another matter. I am pleased to report that we have made progress in our efforts to find a way through Ice Heart's sanctum. Excellent! Excellent! I oh, I'll will take, take that belt. the ninja belt. I, hmm, I thought there was somebody actually looking at it. I don't know why. No, the belts like, don't oh, have an actual visual effect. Yeah, I know. That's what I was going to say. Because you know, words. 
As you may recall, Iceheart used an etherite in the depths of the snow cloak to teleport a short distance to the west, most likely to the sanctity of some description. Sanctuary, even, of some description. But it is there that we suspect that she means to summon Shiva using the crystals she stole from the House Fortemp's caravan. The heretics believe that they are bringing upon the second coming of their patron saint. But as we suspect. Blah, blah, blah. As we suspect, they mean to hold a summoning ritual of some kind employed by the Beast Tribe. It seems likely the result will be something more akin to a primal. Suffice to say, it must be stopped. To stop, uh, and to stop them we shall. Our first and most surmountable obstacle is uh, that Iceheart is placed in our path. Ordinarily, it would be a simple matter to tap into the established etherite and thereby follow our quarry. However, despite our best efforts, we have yet to have uh, been unable to uh, ascertain the position of the etherite of which she teleported to. Her prevailing theory is that she destroyed the second etherite upon the arrival. A reckless and desperate measure, but also an effective one. After discussing the matter at length with Uringar, we have concluded that we lack the expertise to develop a solution. Which is why we have called upon the aid of one who does not possess an expertise. A colleague of ours who is currently en route to Revenant's Toll from Charleon. She will be arriving within the hour, in fact. Since you are here, mayhap you can welcome her th uh, together. Welcome her- oh right, okay, yeah. Welcome her together. We could welcome her together. I am certain she will appreciate the jester. Let us make our way to the north uh, northern gates and await her coming. Oh my? Maybe. I don't know. Waiting with Mintilia for somebody to be coming? That yeah, sounds like a good plan to me. Good plan. Good plan? Like a good plan to me. Sounds like a good plan to me! I'd fly there. <laughs> You'd fly there? What? It's a good plane. Plane. You said plane. Plane, plane, spline, plane. And Orion and Spline says motion in the plane. <laughs> soon, soon we'll be at 70! 70 what? Episode? No. But <laughs> episode 70, Timer! We're like twice that. We are, in fact. I think this might actually be, like, episode 140-something. Ah, uh, 43, I think it is. Yeah. Or 4. No, it must be an odd number. 43, I'm gonna say. I can't yeah. see her! She's invisible! We're not seeing That's someone, cheating. it's just a destination. Oh, the destination was invisible! That's cheating! Blah, blah, blah. I'm just cast protect on you. No, too late. Pointy, pointy, waving arms. <laughs> Chocobo! Small talk, oh small talk, small talk. Murmur, small talk, small talk, murmur. What? Hey, you're gonna love the, like, elephant. Oh, no, no, man, it's not woman. That's just the coach person, I think. Pink hair! Oh, hey! On a man. Hello, kitten. That's, I like the kitty I better. I don't understand that. Oh, God! Cut. I definitely like the cat better. Minfilia, am I right? Oh, she's got a voice. She looks like Sombra. None other. You want no Sombra. I bid you welcome to Revenant Toll, and thank you for traveling so far on such short notice. <laughs> As if I could ever say no to Urianje. Moon breeder. Moon breeder is an accomplished Charlian scholar and an authority on etherite technology. <laughs> What's up with that thumbs up? She has played an invaluable role in our search for a means to capture Asian souls. Oh. Charmed, I'm sure. Fiber? I don't know. Oh, okay. For a moment I thought you disconnected again. I was like, oh, God damn it. <laughs> it happens occasionally. Yeah, but I don't want to be, to be that occasional. 
But a return to the Rising Stones at once. Bitch! Can we and that then the we will discuss. We have more to discuss, even. We could have just talked to the cutscene about it, couldn't we? Oh, well, I'm not allowed to move. Oh, that's fine. I'll just sit here. Thank you, game. Oh my god, it's Schuster McGee of the Trinity. Oh, hey, that's kind of cute. She's got, like, a puffy Scottish beret, complete with the little dangly ball. Oh, she's going. Missed her. Well, you know, <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> Hopefully, we can actually make it to the one that we need before the trial. Voiced? Please say it's voiced. Good. Moon! God, it's been ages! Ah, she's a blonde under that oh, outfit. longer, sister. A joyous reunion indeed. She's but a spy. Of it is. Moon and I are like twin sisters. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Save in appearance and aptitude. <laughs> Papalimo, you bastard. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was laughing at you. Like, <laughs> oh, like there, he's like, wait. Wait a moment. <laughs> Everyone, if I could have your attention. We have with us an esteemed guest who has come from Charlie and Seriously, to assist looks us. like Sombra. Only eviler. No. I bid Moonbreeder join us here that she might share with us her extensive knowledge of etherites. Oh, bugger. Also, as many of you are of already she aware, been good she has been us. overseeing our research into white orosite. What the hell is white orosite? What is orosite? To bring with her. Uh. What is orosite? Well, I had to come, didn't I? You'd have to be bloody daft to turn your nose up at a chance like this. Where better to conduct my final tests than a land so steeped in ether you can taste it? Tis plain the passage of the years hath done little <laughs> to dampen thy youthful spirits. <laughs> Is this color old? <laughs> Basically, yeah. at all to reform thy youthful manner. <laughs> That expression. Uh, oh, unhand me! Oh, I thought she was gonna like jump on him. Marianne, where in the hells have you been hiding? Like I fully expected her to yeah, just yeah, straight up jump me. and like koala him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I come you got, uh, all this way, me. and that's what you have to say to me. Don't you? You I'm can pick me up if you like. I guess. When you were pleading with me to drop everything and hurry to your side. What was it you said? <laughs> None save thee can satisfy this need. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Thankred is me. Thine artless attempts to misrepresent mine all too innocent motives do thee little credit. <clears throat> mine intent, as well thou knowest, was but to impress upon thee the gravity of the circumstance. Lest thou doubt, a deiform entity shall shortly be summoned, save if thou and no other grantest my compeers thine aid. You still haven't found it, then, your missing etherite? We have not. No. We know that Iceheart teleported to an etherite not far from the first. Yet, even after careful analysis, we could not locate the second beacon. We now suspect that the heretics destroyed the second etherite to impede our pursuit. Our allies continue to scour Snowcloak for Iceheart Sanctuary, but we have no guarantee that they will find it. Yet, it must be found, for even now Iceheart prepares to call upon Saint Shiva. I'm sorry, but 
If the Aetherite's been destroyed, then that's that. Although... You're absolutely sure she used the first Aetherite, are you? She didn't just use teleportation magics? Maybe she used Swiftcast. One of our own bore witness teleportation to magic. I can say with absolute certainty that Iceheart used the Aetherite. We're the expert. In that case, there might be a way, so long as the ethereal current is still flowing. Truly. But How? Okay, sure. McGuffin it. We use the current to recreate the beacon. As Basically, you know, if it helps us get through the story faster, I will take the McGuffin. We use them to reconstitute mm -hmm. our physical forms when They're crossing just going the to Star Trek Sea. Without them, we'd lose all sense of direction and our essence would dissipate. However, we don't rely solely on these beacons. There are currents of ether which flow between them, currents which help guide us to our destination. Now, these currents will gradually dwindle away to nothing if an etherite is destroyed. But, if even a sluggish flow remains, we could theoretically use it to direct a surge of concentrated ether towards the void left by the beacon, and thereby fill it up again. Like opening the floodgates to fill a dry riverbed. Though, correct me if I'm wrong, but would we not need a veritable reservoir of ether? In concert, we might manage to channel a sufficient volume, yet that is not my chief concern. Space, fire, one spell to at it. To direct the flow of so great a volume of ether with the requisite precision would be a nigh-impossible task in itself. Look up in time! I barely succeeded in facilitating travel to an unattuned beacon. That which you describe sounds considerably oh God, you more difficult. <laughs> And dangerous. Why is this Every McGuffin? person who has attempted to teleport in this fashion has died in the process. They, however, did not have white aura sight at their disposal. I can use it to channel all the ether you can give me into the etherite. However, white aura sight cannot retain ether okay. for an extended period of time, so we would need to infuse it immediately so it like beforehand. A you mean a you mean a capacitor? Just so you know, I'd no, confidently give this plan better than even yeah, odds of success. Yeah, amplifies power. And if the worst comes oh. to worst, your people won't suffer. I thought she it did. doesn't store power. It just amplifies. Oh, I thought she said it did Though store it power. Risk the lives of our best yeah, it doesn't store power. That's what I said. We have not a transformer doesn't other store options. power either. It just amplifies it. Yeah, but or the capacitor stores power. It. Yes. Yeah, that's why I thought it was a well, capacitor. A capacitor stores power for a short period of time. If the Bah. Capacitors actually discharge quite quickly, believe it or not. That's the spirit. Let's roll the dice. Quite quickly, not very quickly. If ethereal current still flows, we shall carry out Marbridge's plan. That's the spirit. Let's roll the dice. There we go. Sorry, I accidentally double clicked. That's the spirit. Let's roll the dice. Oh. What's the goal? Ba ba da ba ba da 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 da. Shall take. I'm gonna sneeze, don't mind me. I shall take the black mage belt. Excuse me. Oh, excellent. I have already informed Alphanod of her plan to recreate the beacon of this manner at a uh, moon breeder uh, described. She he agreed that the. For a living. Yep. That despite the inherent danger, it would represent our only hope of success. He also said that he wished to meet me at the snow cloak before proceeding. I expect you to find them waiting there when you arrive. I want you to know that I appreciate everything you've done on our behalf, sisters, and I faith I have faith that you will return to us, as you always have. Well, even if we die, we'll just come back. Yeah, we kind of like immortal that way. Yeah, that's what happens when you're a warrior of light. Hey, where are we going? Uh, we need to go back to where we went beforehand. Back to Dragon Head. Yeah. And then we'll probably end it when we get there, honestly. Oh, well, it's been that long already, huh? Yep. Also, next time we've got a trial! Woo! Woo! We get to Woo. learn what the hell those are. We've done a few of them. What? 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 I don't remember it. You know, boss fights. Oh! Oh, what are those? Yeah. So we'll leave it there, and until next time, all the best, and... Hold on, let me, let me just look.
looking down at you. Good night, just, everybody! Let me just look down upon you to thrust my chocobo's breast in your face. It's fluffy. <laughs>